Guys, I found something absolutely amazing. Roll the clip. Okay, guys, I've just realized something huge. Now, I I do have a, f a few medals. I mean, it's obviously spoiled right there. But yes, I now have a gold medal. You know, you may be wondering, how the hell, with, with your goddamn melon armor and your bloody regular hoe, have you got a gold medal? Well, I figured out I can trade up to silver medals and gold medals. Yeah, you can call me a pillock in the comments if you want but i've just found this out i thought this only went the reverse way but we can we can oh we can finally get a, a mathematical hoe blueprint give me one of them there we go uh you'll see in a minute what i'll make of this but we are going to trade up for some more so i think it's only one for this and it's the basket of okay we need two the basket of seeds because we all know how time consuming and frustrating it is to place all the seeds so we're just gonna grab one of these there we go and i guess we could get one more i guess i'm not sure how many things are in the way because goddamn not enough items is in the way so we have three that's not enough for a gold which is yes yeah, fair it's fair enough but man i can't tell you how happy and excited i am that i can finally finally get a mathematical hoe and start putting some enchants on it because i have so many of these goddamn books yeah sorry i'm just i'm just sort of you, you know what i mean so judging by the surroundings you have an idea of what i'm going to turn our blueprint into so let's just whack this in whack all the sugar cane in and there we go we got a turning or turning sugar cane hoe there we go now that can be replaced so all right because that's got harvesting fire on i was wondering why this has so much um farming fortune but yeah there we go we gained 10 percent farming fortune and farming wisdom for sugar canes and eventually when we smack enough sugar canes we have to reach 100,000 for our rarity we can then upgrade it to the sugarcane hoe or the, the exact same one apparently but it has a higher rarity and this will keep going up for each 100k i'm pretty sure it is and yeah so i guess let's just whack some enchants on this there we go harvesting five there we go and now we just smack a bunch of cane until we can level it up and you know what would be perfect right now if we could have an armor upgrade well what a surprise i have all the ingredients ready for an armor upgrade god i tell you what this didn't actually take that much grinding to be fair but here we go so we have enough for the helmet the legs and the chest there's no point doing the boots at the moment i will do it because obviously i need it for the museum collection and you know that skyblock xp we need that damn skyblock xp so let's take all our melon armor off and then try and remember the recipes so yes here's the crappie helmet there we go crappie leggings i'm surprised i remembered that and there's a crappie chest plate damn i'm surprised i remember these crafting recipes but there we go we now have the full crappie set i probably shouldn't have um done this because i uh i need to get more crappies but ah, uh, it is fine we should be all right but yes now when we farm pumpkins melons and cocoa beans we have a 0.2 percent chance to get a squash okay so i've been smacking some cane for a bit and i can upgrade our towering hoe which automatically upgraded to an uncommon when i mined 10,000. so that's something but now we've got to reach 10 million for the plus one rarity so now we're going to upgrade it this will give us a bit more farming fortune and it will give us the log logarithmic counter and that will give us 16 farming fortunes for sugar canes per digits on the counter minus four and so far we got 32 so we're doing quite well for sugar cane at the moment and there is a jacobs contest in probably 10 minutes or something with sugar cane so we'll be able to actually put this to the test with all our new gear and all that okay so whilst i'm here we might as well buy this yellow bandana for our elephant pet because this will give us 30 more farming fortune there you go i know there's a better option but we can't get that right now and this is the closest thing we can get right now right so i've got enough to get another potentially blueprint but today i think i'm gonna grab Oh, it's, it's, it's between one of these. I think we're going to grab the pumpkin slicer. There we go. And then next we'll probably get the melon slicer. Then probably start getting a wheat hoe, I imagine. And then grab ourselves a delicate five book, which I actually think I already have. So it's not too bad. But yeah, let's go, man. Right, so I managed to get myself up to a Sunder five, which is the highest we can get. And I'm going to put it on our pumpkin dicer. There we go. And I've got a lovely little reforge, which will be the earthy one, which will give us eight farming fortunes. So let's go whack this bad boy on 
and there we go it's all on right so we have enough to upgrade our pumpkin slicer so let's go ahead and do that there we go so now it's a pumpkin slicer 2.0 which by the looks it doesn't really add anything to it i just think it's something to do with the roll them yeah i think i think you just get more out of the rng rolls or something like that but there we go now we've got pumpkin dice at tier two and there is a tier three nice so roll them plus plus there you go okay so that's <laughs> that's a ton of grinding right and i just remembered that we can get these cultivating books which we can put on our axe and hoe so let's go ahead and grab two of these and these are progressive enchants so it's just like the fishing rod that we we have and there's the more we farm crops the higher level these will go and i think they got to like level six maybe level seven so yeah let's go ahead and apply these there we go cultivating one on our axe and put one on the sugarcane hoe there we go awesome all right there's something we need to do now which will help us get the next set of armor and we need to go ahead and buy a new plot so we can literally be anyone so we'll grab this one here and when we eventually clean it up we'll put some cocoa beans on it so yeah let's go ahead and clean that up real quick right let's put these cocoa beans on here so we're gonna go with this one there we go and paste so i'm actually curious to wonder how this looks like okay so it's like this it's the the, the normal kind of setup you would use so you sort of put yourself against this wall with your axe and sort of minor at angle so for them now i will be using this since it does have replenish one and going through and replacing these all is just a headache so yeah the plan is i'll do some more jacobs event get some more bronze medals trade them up to gold and then eventually get a cocoa chopper and I'll also get a melon dicer as well just just to be extra safe and i'll put in charts and all that you'll probably see that in a, in a few more videos but yeah so far so good so i kind of messed up a little bit and yeah this blessed fruit right here is probably the best enchant for our farming equipment so we're actually just going to grab two of these i know it costs one million to apply but honestly i don't mind it that much sometimes you need to spend money to make money so this should cost a million to oh no it's only 10k oh i thought this cost a million to apply maybe that's just for legendary but yeah we'll, we'll go ahead and apply that there we go so yeah now we have blessed stuff which is very nice so yeah that's gonna end it for this video so thank you so much for watching if you did like this video smash that like button down below remember to subscribe to my channel see more future content like this and make sure you go in the description check out the, all my social media and make sure you join the viking cyber guard community discord and yeah see you in my next video goodbye everyone and may the force be with you